Well, this recipe is for a country pork sausage, and I will tell you, I've never thought that it was possible to make sausage in a blender, but um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, and really, the reason we're able to do it is a couple things. The, the blade configuration is large, uh, the bowl is large, and at 4.2 horsepower, we create an enormous amount of torque, uh, which is necessary to actually get enough shear and work the meat. Um, it's a pretty simple recipe, really, and what's nice about it is I don't need to use a grinder. Um, the blades are going to do this for me. So what I've got is I've got a pork butt, uh, just plain pork butt, which we've cubed into about one-inch squares. Uh, the fat is still on there. We didn't trim it at all. We just sized it. And I'm going to do this in a couple stages, but I've got about two and a half pounds of meat here. So the meat goes in, then I'm going to take a little uh, red onion, about half a cup, four cloves of garlic, four, and I'm going to start to work this just a little bit. So as you can see, even on the slowest setting, it's working that meat and it's not bogging it down at all. So I'm just going to get a little more speed on that. And I'm going to take the rest of the meat and load her right up. Now, while I've got that, I'm going to use a couple eggs. And the egg is to uh, give it a little bit of a binding. So I'm going to use four eggs. Right. Now, I've got crushed red pepper. We don't want to use too much of this because it'll really destroy the flavor of the pork, but just enough crushed red pepper to give you that kick. We, we kind of like that spice in it, even if it's for a breakfast sausage application or you're doing it at lunch or dinner. So I've got the crushed red pepper. Now, really key for sausage is fennel. So this is fennel seed. I've got uh, let's call that a tablespoon of, of the fennel seed. And I want it just a tiny little bit of garlic powder. And that's going to give it a little more rich garlic flavor versus just the raw garlic. And then salt. We use about a tablespoon and a half of salt. And then cracked pepper, half of a tablespoon. So, doesn't get much easier than this. The fact that I'm doing this all in one bowl is consistent in keeping it clean. Now I'm going to just slowly get that. I don't want this fully emulsified. You could make a pate, however, if you really wanted to. But now I'm going to put the speed up to about half and I'm going to pulse it to start breaking the meat down. little bit more. Take my tamper, just kind of get that meat blended back in. Beautiful. So as soon as you start to see it ball up, you know that you're starting to get the emulsion. And you can see how that is nice and creamy. Just one more turn. Amazing. Now, you can see what we've got here. This looks exactly like you would want homemade country sausage to look like. The fat and the meat are just perfectly blended. And, and, and emulsified, so it's going to bind when we actually cook this in a patty. But the onion is completely incorporated, the garlic is incorporated, and more importantly, getting the texture of meat like that out of a blender is, is really has been impossible up until now. So we're going to actually cook up a sausage in a little bit and have a taste. 
But first time ever, there's your country sausage out of an XL blender. Thank you.